Hi kids! Welcome to Miss Marty's Craft Room Reading. Today I brought Max with me so he could help me read you a book about pets. A Pet for Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy was the smartest pet in the world. He could say the boy's name. Buzz. One day, Buzz said, Fly Guy, we're going to go on a picnic. Buzz and Fly Guy played chase all the way to the park. They ate lunch. They played together. They looked at the clouds. They watched other people play with their pets. Wow, said Buzz. Everyone has a pet. No pets. Oops, that's right, said Buzz. You don't have a pet. No pets. Well, we will find you a pet, said Buzz. Yes! But remember, you have to take care of it. Yes! And play with it, said Buzz. Yes! And feed it, said Buzz. Yes! Okay, said Buzz. Let's go to the pet shop. At the pet shop, Buzz came out with a puppy. It licked him. Then he came out with a kitten. It swatted Fly Guy. Buzz came out with a frog. It chased Fly Guy. I think it was going to eat him. This isn't working, said Buzz. Only you can pick out a pet for you. Yes! Back at the park, Fly Guy found a worm. It was too slimy. Fly Guy found a spider. It was too tangly. Fly Guy found a cricket. It was too jumpy. Buzz said, let's think about this whole pet thing. You need a pet who likes to play, said Buzz, just like you. Yes! You need a pet who can do tricks, said Buzz, just like you. Yes! Look, they're standing on their heads. You need a pet who is a good friend, said Buzz, just like you. Yes! And, said Buzz, you need a pet with a cool name. Yes, Buzz! Buzz's pets! Me, said Buzz? You want me to be your pet? I never thought of that, said Buzz. Okay, sure, I mean, yes! There's just one thing about being your pet, said Buzz. You don't have to feed me, Buzz said. Do you know who's the best pet in the whole wide world? Buzz. No, Fly Guy. Buzz. No, Fly Guy. Buzz. Fly Guy. Buzz. Fly Guy. I think they're both good pets. Max is a good pet, too. Until next time. Bye.